Yo, what's good, y'all? Look, I know I got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, we here at the beach now. We just wanted to get away for a little bit with everything going on with COVID and all that. We just wanted to, I don't know, it's, we didn't really do too much, but I don't know if I mentioned this before, we have family that stays down here in uh, Virginia Beach area. So we came down to the kids to the beach. We only stayed out there a little bit. Of course, we was wearing our mask and everything while we were walking like the strip and all that. But then we went down to the beach. We were able to take our masks off. In Virginia here, our governor kind of opened up the beaches, kind of, but not really. I don't know. Comment down below what y'all think about all this stuff, man. Do y'all think that stuff should start opening up and people should have the choice to, you know, go to different places? Do you think that it's all a conspiracy theory? Do you think everybody just needs to stay in the house until 2022? I'm curious to know what y'all think. Because for me and Sherelle, at least, when everything first happened, we were kind of gun ho with stay in the house. If you go outside, you're stupid as a, you know what I mean? You just, you're dumb if you go outside. And now we are to the point to where it's like, man, you know, we, we've done three months of quarantine. Like we just gonna dip our toe in the water a little bit and see what happens. Uh, we're still not all the way out there like that, but we did enjoy ourselves while we were down here. I know y'all are here to really Kind of see what's up with me, see how things been going and all of that. So that's you know that's what this video is about. Basically, me explaining why I haven't uploaded in a while and just you know pretty much what's going on with me in my life. I first want to start off by saying that I appreciate everybody that has still been rocking with me over on my Instagram, social media, Twitter. My Twitter's in my description down below too. I'm way i'm on twitter a lot more now than i used to be and i probably would say i'm on twitter more than i'm on instagram so if you just want to keep up with me and get like some unfiltered raw hot takes then follow me on twitter because i'm, I'm on there all day so with the channel and why i haven't uploaded i've, I've mentioned this a couple different times before but sherelle has a jury business this is enough light sherelle has a jury business and it's doing really well within especially with everybody being on quarantine within the last couple months it's i mean it's booming um and she needs my help with the quarantine and all that stuff we don't really want an, an assistant kind of like in our house per se because we don't really know what that assistant does and yeah, yeah you i mean you get that part so hopefully once this is all over she can hire an assistant to help her because it's be, like she's I don't even know how many pieces she ships she ships out a week but i mean it's a lot i mean it's thousands thousands of pieces that she sells and ships out a week she has to pull the pieces put them away invoice um, package everything up ship it out i mean it's a lot so that's kind of what i've been doing you guys know i'm still working uh fortunately i'm fortunate enough to still have my job so i do work still and when i'm off i kind of use that time to either a help her with the jewelry business and everything got going on y'all know i've been like cooking a lot more if you do follow me on instagram and i will be doing more cooking videos for you guys on this channel soon i know a lot of people uh said they wanted to see that so i will do that and uh, hanging out with my kids uh you know it's about to be summertime we open up the pool so you know it's, it's a lot of stuff that i'm kind of taking over uh, I'm, I'm like full-time daddy mode if that makes sense and i'm letting her kind of build her empire these are important stages for that so it was almost like do I continue to grow my YouTube or do I take the back seat and let her build, you know what I'm saying, her her dynasty over there? And that's another thing. I always, you know, hashtag dynasty and dynasty this, dynasty that. Dynasty TV is a part of this dynasty that we're building. My wife's jewelry business is called the Bling Dynasty. So when it comes down to like, oh, well, you know, you saying dynasty, we part of the dynasty. If you're a part of the dynasty, then you're a part of it all. And you're going gonna to rock with us no matter what we do. Dynasty TV is a small portion of Dynasty. You know what I mean? This is Dynasty gang. Like, this is what it is. 
Dynasty, the Bling Dynasty, Dynasty TV. Uh, we got more Dynasty stuff, you know, lined up on the, on the way. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? We, we got stuff on the way. Dynasty TV. I mean, we got we got stuff on the way. Please believe me. Um, and I know that I've, I've mentioned this before too. How YouTube now to me is more of like a hobby type thing versus a career. I don't use YouTube at all for the money purposes. I'm getting on here because I kind of miss turning on the camera. I miss talking to y'all. Um, and I just, I mean, I felt like I owed y'all an explanation on what's going on. Now, now that all that is out of the way, the people that are here for the locks, check me out. I'm going to give you an update on my son's locks probably when we get back in town, either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, I'm off for like a week or so, so I will make that a priority to give you guys an update on this hair. I've done like three or four haircuts on myself, but I haven't. I mean, I think I recorded one of them, but I haven't edited it yet, and it's been too long. I mean, I need I needed to get on here and show you guys my face, talk to y'all, chop it up. So that's what this video is. Um, but I will be giving you guys on my son update on my son's locks. I am still planning on getting my drop fade locks. The plan now is to get them maybe in the fall. Uh, I don't want to get starter locks and then you know summertime you sweating and getting in the pool and all that stuff. I feel like that's kind of like whack because I've dealt with that before especially with my son's hair and we plan on making more trips down here to the beach so yeah i don't really want to imagine spending money or do, doing it yourself getting starter locks and then getting your hair wet right away i mean you, you know some people say that getting your hair wet helps your hair locks faster but i don't know um i'm also interested comment down below if y'all want to see me do my locks in a comb coil like starter locks in the comb coil method i'm thinking about starting maybe like starting them in two strand twists or uh just braids like plaits and letting them lock up themselves i don't know i want to i want to switch it up though this time and make it different by the time fall is here like my hair now is pretty long i could start the locks now if i wanted to but i'm trying to wait like i said for the reason i'm trying to wait till the fall i think by that time if i it might be long enough to actually like plait it and then let them let them lock that way. I don't know. Let me know what y'all want to see though. Maybe I'll do all comb coil and three two strand twists, or all two strand twists and three comb coils, or something like that, just to see the progress of how they work. Now, obviously, if if you another YouTuber and you watching this, and you know, I just gave you idea, you know, power to you. I ain't tripping. You know what I mean, it's it's not. <laughs> That, that's a problem too with some youtubers like they get into this this um this lane to where they think like oh they they're the only ones that want to do it and they're the only ones that are important and their videos are the, look man i i don't really get into all that to me uh it's enough money to be made for everybody so i, I really don't get into all of the politics that come with this youtube stuff and maybe that's why uh i'm okay with taking a, a break or taking a back seat or taking a long pause from recording and stuff because it's not like that for me like when i was uploading more frequently it became stressful and i mean like to the, oh i gotta upload oh, i gotta record today um oh, man like if my computer had to update or something i was pissed because that's like an hour of time wasted that i couldn't upload and it's it's a lot i have a lot more freedom i enjoy recording and uploading more now that i don't do it as frequently uh, it's just a lot, not a lot of pressure on your shoulders, if that makes sense. Uh, but look, man, I, I just wanted to say what's up to y'all. Um, I'm about to go back in, enjoy the rest of my time here on vacation. I will be editing this video and throwing it up here pretty soon. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy, man. Um, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Videos are on the way. No promises, but I will be uploading more than I have been. I don't think I uploaded in like a month or something crazy like that. So it, it definitely felt weird hitting record and then i hope i got the the mic on i'm gonna check after i finish recording please let the mic be on because i'm a little rusty pause i'm gonna get out of here though i uh, appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy like i said if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you get notified every time i drop a new video smash that like button for me and let me know y'all want to see an update on my son's locks if i let me get let me get 10 likes on this video and i'll give y'all update on my son's locks all right Appreciate y'all. Stay locked. Be blessed. Put God first. And the rest is easy as rocking with your boy. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.
You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. 